Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full flip through of my journal. So this is my 2019 journal. I already created a flip through of my 2018 journal. So if you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description box below. It has um, all my spreads from when I went to Japan. And I've also filmed a lot of these spreads on my journal playlist. So I'll also pop my journal playlist down as well. Um, as you can see, I've got my Christmas spread and then my book got really bendy so as you can see here it's really warped um, and yeah I just had to really get a new <laughs> new journal but I did put a few bits and pieces thinking I was going to start more spreads and then I realised that it was just getting too, um, the, the journal was bending too much because it was quite a cheap one. So then I got this beautiful one here because it has lots of different style pages so some stripes, um, some gridded and then also like different colours as well. So I really, really like this one. And I also wanted to show you this one real quick. I got this one when I did, I think it was in my yearly, like my annual stationery haul. And I've actually just been collecting things like um, bits and pieces from packaging. So this is a book that I've been collecting packaging. So um, little tea, I don't know what we call them, the tea bag stubs or whatever you like to call them. Um, a lot of different um, wrapping from like things that have been made in Japan or some stickers that I get on packaging as well. So it's a really unique journal, even like little business cards and lots of packaging and I've been finding it really fun collecting these things. So I'll do a flip through. These are just coasters. I'll do a little flip through once this is like completely full but yeah, I've just been having fun just collecting see some sort of Momo bar, collecting little bits and pieces that I thought just how it had really beautiful packaging. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that in case anyone else is doing their own little project of just building, like doing collages with things that you get for free, like a lot of sort of packaging. And that was even just one of those Muji, um, Muji barcodes that tells you all the little prices as well. So yeah, that's that journal. So I'll show you that one once it's done if anyone is interested. I don't know if you're interested in seeing a journal full of little bits and pieces that are from packaging. But this is my 2019 journal. So I'll do a little flip through of this one for you today. So I got this one from a beautiful stationery store and if I can find the name of the journal I will link it in the description box below in case you guys are wondering. And when I was setting up this journal I actually made a video of my setup. Um, it's my life book. So I will also link that in the description box below if you want to see how I set it up to start off with. And then it just turned into my everyday journal of documenting life. This one here is a beautiful designed by an independent artist and I also put this beautiful happiness quote and I wrote my little name there as well <laughs> so I'll do a flip through and I will discuss each page so a lot of this is inspiration a few of these things I got from the zine fair and I'll pop that video up next week as well and I'm also putting my favorite washi tapes throughout it as well I've got bits of writing and also a sticker page. I absolutely adore this page, so all my favourite stickers. <laughs> this one is so funny. Um, and then this one's more of a daily, what's um, important to me. So food, rest, exercise, passions, meditation, giving, reflection. Just a really beautiful thing to look back on. And then I've also got my journal spread. So I've actually got this card here and it's from a 101 Things Before You Die pack. And it says, take a trip in a hot air balloon. And that's what we did that weekend, so I journaled it. So, as I mentioned, a lot of these journal spreads are in my journal playlist. So this one is my Easter journal spread, as well as lots of beautiful designs from the Sticky Kit subscription box. Um, I really love the Sticky Kit subscription box, and I'm actually going to be an ambassador for them soon. So you'll see a lot more videos from them. As you can see, I've also got little collages of snail mail envelopes and things that people have sent me. And then throughout this book, it's actually also got little pockets. And it's really nice, so I've put little things in that people have given me, as well as keeping tickets, and I've put them in as well. This one here, again, is from the same artist who drew this one. So I wanted to put beautiful artwork in here from independent artists as well. 
and then also I've got letters from people as well so I'll flip through those ones quick because um, some of them are private but again this is just another spread this one is from a subscription box this is the bento box and I just wanted to document it because they made the most beautiful things this page I absolutely adore it's one of my favorite ones and I'm going to be doing more fun ones like this I went to a zine fair and I got lots of cute little stickers and washi tapes from the zine fair. Oh, actually, I didn't get any of the washi tapes, just the stickers. <laughs> and I made a page full of just colourful, fun and cute stickers. So I thought this was a really nice, fun page. And yeah, this is probably one of my favourite ones. And as you can see, I've got these stickers of Fairy Little Peaches stickers. And then I'll also link the other stickers designers in my next video, which is my Zine Fair stationery haul video. And also, if you can hear something in the background, it's because Dan's in the house today. So if you can hear him coughing, <laughs> he's just in the background. Um, and then I've also got my Polaroids as well. So just um, documenting life events. Someone was actually a dress up. Um, trivia night at work so that was really fun and these stickers here are from Fairy Little Peach as well and these designs are actually in the journal so these ones I didn't put on at all again just little bits and pieces to remind me to be creative and little quotes I just really liked this design here because the paper was yellow and yeah it just all matched perfectly this one here is actually my travel and bucket list and really interesting when I made this book I didn't write this in the order that I wanted to travel in, but it seems like I have literally um, been ticking off the places one by one from in order. So I actually went to Bali first, then Nepal, then Thailand, then America, and then Japan. So maybe I might go to Europe and then South America next. So it might actually follow the pattern of the how I wrote it down, but it just happened to be that way. It was just a coincidence. These also stickers I have collected throughout my the last few years as well they're just beautiful ones that I wanted to keep within my journal I didn't want to give away so I also collect a lot of things that I don't want to give away and I put them in this journal because um, I give away a lot of stuff and sometimes I just want to keep some things for myself I've also got my bucket list here and as you can see I've only ticked off one thing which was to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube <laughs> with a little smiley face I can't believe I haven't ticked anything else off so hopefully we'll be ticking a lot more things off some quotes, some of my favourite quotes. I've got quotes from the Buddha, um, Dalai Lama. I think there was one also from Dr. Zeus in here. So I have a little quotes page. Oops. This one is from a subscriber. I realise there was an address on that one. I might have to blow that one out. And this one is Random Acts of Kindness. I actually wrote this one up when I first did my setup for this journal. This one's just a beautiful reminder. I think it's happiness or kindness yeah and then I added a few different stickers on later again some more Polaroids I might cover that one because she's in her swimmers <laughs> she probably wouldn't appreciate me putting it on the internet um, so just more bits and pieces and I really just like to match colors the beautiful oranges and I also keep business cards if they're really cute and quirky too and then I didn't know what to do on this page so I just put another business card on it and it just says it's time to take a breather so I thought that was really nice. Again another one of these pages with the pockets in the middle. Some more subscriber mail. Oh no Dan's blowing his nose in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about the horrible noises in the background. Um, so some more subscriber mail. These two little things were from Furry Real Peach as well. And I just like to keep some of the subscriber mail of this book some more subscribe mail. I'm just trying to look for an address. There's no address on this one. Perfect. This a little bits and pieces from subscribers. So someone drew me these two images here and then I just added some really cute quirky stickers around that I really liked and some watchy tape that I really wanted to keep. These are actually my zine. So I made a mini zine page. So these you can actually slip out. Oops. Then I can open them and read them. So this one here is also a little scene. And then there's one in here too. And I'll actually show you guys this one in my next video. But it's this little small book of joys. There's a really funny one in here. Oh, what cute it is. I actually flip through this and show you in another video, but there's a there's one letting out um, a big fart. 
you were holding in. I thought that was really, really funny. <laughs> Can you actually see that? Um, pop that one back in there. So that's my little mini zine page because I wanted a page to keep them all. And I think that's it. I sort of just, oh no, I've still got lots of things. Oh, is that, I think that's actually printed on the paper. I've never seen that page before, oh my goodness. Uh, a wedding I went to, some stamps. This one here is just a whole bunch of books, a list from my mom. Um, another beautiful, these are just letters from subscriber mails. I just kept some really beautiful things. I don't know why I get my own address. I think it's because it just matched. <laughs> that does save my care box. And then these pages are really pretty. I love them. And that's it. So as you can see, I still have a lot of pages to fill up. And yeah, I hope you like my flip through today. I'll still be doing a lot of journal spreads. Um, probably some more fun ones like this last one that I did. Let me see if I can find it again for you. Get with this one here. I'll see if I can do some more fun spreads with you guys. And yeah, go check out my journal playlist as well as my last flip through. And yeah, give this bit of video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you got some good ideas from it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!